All right, so this Knife Thoughts video is going to be a review of this knife, and this is the Victorinox Alox Bantam. So this is a knife that I kind of wanted for a while and didn't get because it's not always available. Um, it was not available in the silver for a while that I could find. Um, now it seems like it is available a little bit more, but there are definitely some exclusive variants of it and things like that. But I ended up getting this. It was on sale uh, on Amazon for about $20, and I thought that was a really you know fair price, so I jumped on it. And what this is, it's a single layer Swiss Army knife. So there's only one spring, but there are two tools. And so you have a normal classic spear point Victorinox style blade. And then on the other end, you have the Victorinox combination bottle and can opener. And I really like this tool. I think you, you get a lot of usefulness in a very small package. So you you know obviously ha can open bottles and cans really effectively. It actually does really well opening cans. I know not a lot of people use a handheld can opener or can opener in general, um, but I do use it pretty frequently and it works really well. But not only that, this screwdriver is, is really pretty functional. I use this recently on you know just random screwing things in and it works relatively well and then you can also use it as a pretty functional pry bar now because the a lot well all swiss army knives from victorinox are riveted you don't really have to worry a whole whole lot about loosening the pivot when you use it as a pry bar but still i generally hold it by the tool rather than by the handle either way you can use it for that so the main thing that I like about this knife is that you get a really, really good amount of usefulness. You get a, a solid blade, certainly big enough to do most EDC tasks. And you get you know, those tools on the combination tool in an extremely, extremely thin package. So this knife is much, much thinner than something like the Victorinox Farmer. So this is the Farmer. Now this is a, a three spring knife. It has, you know, several more tools. Uh, and I just think that this is a good, you know, camping outdoor type knife. Uh, not that it's too big to carry, but it's definitely much, much, much thicker than the Bantam. So you can see just how thin that Bantam is. It is also a shorter knife here, as you can see, than the Farmer. But it's so small that I actually have carried this every day since I got it, except for one day where I was going to be somewhere where I couldn't have a knife at all, in my wallet. So just open it up, place it in the bottom like that, and it really doesn't add to too much thickness. Uh, so I think that's really great because it allows me to always have you know, those tools that are really useful, a blade, uh, bottle opener, can opener, and pry bar, and screwdriver. And that brings me to the one thing, really the only thing that I don't like about this knife, and that's that it doesn't have a key ring. And it's really weird because this, again, Farmer, which is a much, much bigger knife and not something I would really ever put on a keychain, did come with a key ring. It comes with a key ring and I actually ground it off. Now, that key ring might be intended to put a lanyard on or like a clip to dangle it in your pocket. But either way, I think why would this one come with a key ring attachment point and this one wouldn't when this really I think is small enough that you could put this on your keychain and it wouldn't be too obtrusive. So that's really the one thing that I don't like about this is I, I do wish that it came with a keychain attachment point. Um, one thing to be aware of with this I have had a few times where I um, was putting away the combination tool and if you put pressure inward on this see that see how the blade moved across as you close this if you're putting inward pressure on the blade it, it can end up hitting that tool so you just have to make sure that you're not putting that inward pressure on the blade while you close it uh, the other thing here is that this combination tool does seem to hit the, the liner or the, I guess the handle sometimes um, not really a functional issue at all and not something I care about but both of those are just something that comes from how thin this knife is. So 
two slight things wishing that it came with a keychain attachment and you know just to be aware that sometimes you have to watch pushing the blade across while you close the combination tool but overall i really really like this knife i, I think that it's a really really great value you get a huge amount of utility in a an extremely small package and for a relatively you know inexpensive price also so I've really enjoyed it. I plan to continue carrying it, and uh, I've used it a good bit. And I think that the Victorinox Alox Bantam is a great minimalist EDC knife. So that's my thoughts on it. I, I definitely think that it's worth getting if you can find it anywhere near that price that I got it at, $20, $25 even, you're getting a good deal. So if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. Uh, also check out my social media. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at Knife Thoughts and my website, knifethoughts.com, where I post articles on knives like this and knife-related topics. And last but not least, as always, don't forget to go out and do good.